All right, here we are, uh, starting off with the uh, jump off campsite on Cedar Lake. All right, we're here. We are at the uh, at the Cedar Lake access point. Everything's unloaded, ready to go. Uh, I'm just about to put in the water. So we're going to make our way across here. It's about a two kilometer paddle just across the lake. And we're going to pick up our first portage, uh, a 700 meter portage into the Petawawa River. So that's it. That's everything. Here we go. All right, here we are at the portage um, on Cedar Lake. We're going to um, Petawawa River. It's about a 700 meter portage. It looks like looking out from the portage. Doesn't really look like it from shore, but uh, it's actually a pretty windy day today. It's not crazy, about 15, 20 kilometers an hour, but enough to really make <laughs> the crossing uh, a challenge, no doubt about it. Had to do a fair bit of zigzagging just to get over here uh, a lot of rollers three easy two three foot rollers I've actually been windbound at the at the access point for a few hours it's probably uh, I, I didn't end up leaving there until about 12 30 I was there ready to go at 6 30 but I'm um, just trying to wait for a, wind, a break in the wind it never really came there was a slight lull and I made it made a run for it but it was still pretty dicey out there but uh, doesn't matter now, it's over, crossed, lessons learned. And this is the uh, portage. There's another group of people here. They just went uh, uh, just ahead of me. If I can find the portage sign, right over here. That's it, we're ready to go. All right, here we are at the second portage of the day. Just a little 300. Uh, Petawawa River to the Petawawa River. Not too bad of a put-in takeout, a little rocky, I guess. Um, you have that steep little climb here to do. Get out. And those are the rapids we are, rapids with the falls we are portaging around. Uh, pretty hot and humid, no doubt about it. I'm gonna have to stop for some water, get some drink. Not too windy on these part of the lakes.
All right, here we are at the portage for uh, Unicorn Hill. Uh, it's uh, 2,300 meters of up and down. It's a bit of a tough portage um, over here. So a bit of a, a bit of a rocky put in takeout. Let's see, it's all a little kind of muddy and rocky. Here's all ready to go, pretty much. Petawawa to Petawawa. All right, just gonna have some water and uh, we'll get at it. All right, here we are at the top of Unicorn Hill. Everything's up. Kind of did it in uh, two carries. That's where I came from. Got a bench here. That's where I'm going. To bench. Used to be another bench here. Used to have some canoe rests between these two trees. Used to be a sign up there saying it was Unicorn Hill. All right, here we are at our first um, campsite of the trip. Um, didn't make it onto Catfish today, unfortunately. We were quite windbound um, at the access point. So I didn't leave the access point until after 12 o'clock. Um, and it's still quite windy out, so I'm not gonna make a run down Narrow Bag. Uh, here's a quick look at the camp. Uh, it's a pretty small camp. So we've already set up the the hammock. I've already hung up the bear bag, um, at least the equipment I'm going to use to hang the bear bag. So I just have to go hang it later on. I don't have to actually set up anything. And uh, yeah, so I'm just about to boil some water, have some food, and I replenish the calories I've burnt today. Alright, so here we are. We are at the uh, second campsite. We're on Catfish Lake. We're on like the southwest uh, portion of the lake. So this gives us uh, pretty much the shortest distance to leave the lake tomorrow when we go to Burnt Root. 
So we've already set up the bug shelter. Got a little fire going to bake the steak and the vegetables. I haven't set up the hammock yet. Just kind of relaxing, getting the fire going. Not a bad little site, um, kind of open. Not a lot of flat areas, it's fairly sloped. But there are a couple of flat areas. So, all in all, pretty good site. We're facing kind of east, so hopefully we get some nice early sun tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's sunny tomorrow, and uh, we'll be out of here. So the view from campsite number two, looking across there, you can see, so you can see the campsites on Shangri-La Island, and you go across from Shangri-La Island. One over there too. That one was occupied. I tried to go to that one, but it was occupado. Right, that's it from site two. So just having a little breakfast. Um, beginning of day three, some bacon and eggs. Well, uh, here we are. We are on Burnt Root Lake. This is uh, night three. This is kind of the put-in and the way up to the uh, main campsite. So there's a little bit of a hill there. It's not too bad though. Got the dirty, dirty bag set up. Water, source for water. But to get up the campsite, we still have a little more climbing to do. As you can see here, I have the hammock set up. I don't expect a lot of rain, so I don't really have it set up uh, too tight. It's kind of open. Hoping to catch a little bit of the breeze. The breeze has actually calmed down a bit right now. Earlier it was um, pretty significant. Uh, over here is the fireplace, the fire pit. Probably 
only get a little bit of use from me tomorrow. Just to try and burn a little bit of, bit of garbage. And here I've got just kind of like the food situation set up. Right now I'm preparing a little bit of, um, I'm preparing for pizza. So I've got the pizza sauce and the vegetables rehydrating in the thermos. I have been for about 45 minutes now. Um, next, it's just gonna be to add the toppings to the tortilla, which will include cheese, bacon, to, um, pepperoni, the fresh vegetables, and the pizza sauce. I'll cook that over the frying pan for a couple of minutes, and that'll be it. That'll be dinner. Pizza. Pizza out here. A nice view. You kind of get a full, like this is, this is facing west right now. You can see there the sun's kind of going down. So maybe just a slight bit northwest, but that's west. You come all the way around here. That's probably north right there. And to the east side of the campsite, which is where the port taught, or say where the uh, input and takeout is. And that's where we started our tour. All right, so this is how you do pizza in the backcountry. So I've got a pan. It's already got some butter. I've got some cheese is ready to go. I've got some bacon. I've got some pepperoni. And I've got my uh, tortilla ready. As you can see, I've already had one. So this is uh, the second one. And uh, so this is how I'm going to assemble it. All right, so it's all been reassembled. All right, it's all been assembled. And now I'm just going to fold it up and put it on uh, some heat. Okay, so there it is, all wrapped up, uh, cooking. It's already one side's cooked, as you can see. So I flipped it over. It's going to be yummy, delicious. To have with my um, the sunset. So uh, good thing it's an off day. We're out here on the island campsite on um, Burnt Root Lake. It's been blowing all morning and uh, just now a fairly large uh, rain system came through. I'm good to go. I've my, got, got my tarp set up. I've got my hammock set up. Everything's dry. Just started up pretty quickly though. Hopefully it'll die down quickly too. All right, so here we are. Thought I'd give you a little, uh, little tour of the campsite. So we're on the first island in the north part of uh, Burnt Root Lake. We're at the south end of that island, facing south here. Uh, the wind has died down. It's been a very windy day up until just recently. Have a nice little uh, fire pit area. A little bit of flintstone furniture. Elevated pit. I have my hammock and tarp set up over there. Tarp is really just to keep me out of the wind. Just making dinner. Just rehydrating everything. Been rehydrating for half an hour now. Give another half an hour. There's the dirty bag for the water filtration. There's the clean bag. A little bit of water left in it. Put another dirty bag ready to go. It's a nice little site. There are a few flattish, 
spots. It's kind of wide open, big and wide open. It's a nice little sight. I was hoping to get a little more sun in the afternoon here. All right, here we are, day five. Um, we're just uh, broken camp, just about to leave. So this is the start of day five, just saying goodbye to the campsite. It's a very nice little campsite. It's quite exposed to the wind and the elements. So if you're trying to get away from the bugs and it's a hot day, it's a nice place to be. If it's really windy and rainy and you're trying to get under the weather, maybe not so great. Got some nice Flintstone furniture. Uh, so it was nice. So out of here, Headed uh, basically north, going to uh, make my way to the Nipissing. Uh, see you again in a few hours. All right, so here we are at the first portage of the day. Uh, 1285, it's signed, so somewhere around there. Uh, 1285, into Robinson Lake. That's a island I stayed at over there. And uh, so the canoe's all ready to go. Just gonna get loaded up and we're on our way. So here we are at the big portage for the uh, for the day, Ramona Lake to the Nipissing River. Almost two kilometers. Gonna try and single carry it. Planning on two, maybe three stops in the center. Everything's all unloaded. It's all prepped and ready to go. Got on my hiking shoes. That's where we came from over there. Just a short little trip across the water. All right, here we are. So we've uh, finished the the big portage. The 2,000 meter from uh, from Ramona to Nipissing. This is the end of it now. So got the boat ready and we're going to get in the Nipissing. All right, here we are at the um, Nipissing River. This is our campsite for the night. This is called Ostler Marsh. Um, there's not much to it. There's the canoe, campsite and portage sign, and little fireplace there. That's really about it. That's all there is to it. All right, here we are. Uh, beautiful sunny morning. Beautiful sunny sunny morning this uh, this Friday. So this is our second last day. It's a big paddle day. Got about 20 kilometers, almost all of the paddling. There's only a few small portages at the end. Kind of let us know that we're getting close to our campsite for the night. But otherwise, just a bunch of paddling today. So uh, getting a nice good early start. It's just uh, about 10 after 8. Uh, I'm getting the boat and spend quite a few hours in the canoe. Hopefully we get to see some wildlife today.
So we're at the first and longest portage of the day, just a little 365 or so, from Nipissing over to the Nipissing. So I've done the big paddle. Uh, it's been pretty good. Saw moose. And we now we just have three little portages, a little bit of paddling, and we should be at a campsite. All right, we're at the uh, last portage of the day, a little uh, 200 or so, just down to the Nipissing. All right, so here we are at, um, at the end of the portage on the Nipissing River. This is the, uh, it's signed as a 180, but it's about a 230 or so, or something like that on Just Maps. We're just west of that on the Nipissing. Uh, we're still considered uh, Plum Creek Junction. So we're just east of the actual junction where Plum Creek uh, comes into the Nipissing. So uh, there's two campsites here actually. Uh, I took this one because it's right beside the portage. Gets me out of here first thing tomorrow. I don't have as far to go. Uh, there's another one um, just up the hill here, like just back up the portage just a little bit, about 50 meters. And inside there's another little campsite. It's actually pretty, looks pretty nice. Um, it's like a big flat square area. And looks like you could easily put uh, four or five tents or something like that but I just took this one and it doesn't seem to have as much room but uh, I don't need a lot of room so that works out for me so I'm just gonna eat um, hang out enjoy some of the sunshine and uh, go to bed early wake up early all right it's the morning of the last day uh, it's 9 30 a.m. A little bit of a slow morning, that's okay. We don't have very far to go, only about uh, uh, probably about nine kilometer paddle, a little portage, and then we're on Cedar Lake. So, uh, just really a few hours. Everything's all packed up. Um, just got to load up the canoe, and we're out of here.
All right, here we are. Final portage of the trip. Magnificent to the Cedar Lake. A little line 15 or so. Just got the boat uh, parked down there. It's ready to just about to unload it. Kind of a steep climb here. Uh, I'm just going to load up the, the boat up top there. Uh, not a bad little paddle. Only took a couple hours. And uh, yeah, we'll get this portage out of the way and we'll be on Cedar Lake. All right, here we are. Just finished the final portage. That was it. Nipissing River. Um, this is still the Nipissing, but it comes right down to the Cedar. And we just cross Cedar and we're at the car. So we should be at the car in about, uh, about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how long it just takes us to get out of this uh, zigzaggy marsh stuff into the Cedar Lake proper. But that's it. All of the portages for the entire trip are done. No more picking up the boat until it's put it on the car. So here we are about to start the final leg of the journey. Uh, we just need to cross the lake, head over there about a kilometer and a half, two kilometers, and there's the access point. It's a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day. Um, maybe 26 or 27 degrees Celsius. It's a low humidity, no wind to speak of. Uh, it's just an absolutely beautiful day. And I'm sorry it's all coming to an end. <laughs>